Hello, Latin Geometry students. In this assignment, we're going to work on writing a phone app. Yep, we're going to write an app for your phone that you can have on your phone that will do the Pythagorean theorem for you. Now, the Pythagorean theorem isn't that hard. Just a squared plus b squared equals c squared is an example of a problem. And solving the Pythagorean theorem using your calculator isn't very hard. Here, we're doing three squared, the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared to find a, uh, a missing measurement. And it's pretty easy. It only takes a few seconds to do. However, sometimes we have to do the same problem over and over again. Here's a whole bunch of Pythagorean theorem problems. And when you have to do the same math problem over and over again, well, we invented something a long time ago to do math problems, the same math problem over and over and over again, and that's called a computer. Computers were invented to just repeatedly do the same math problem. So here's the app that we're going to create. Here, it's a Pythagorean theorem app. Here, if I put the two legs in, the, in for the measurements of a triangle, let's say one leg is three and the other leg is four, and then I can say calculate the hypotenuse, and it does. It says that the hypotenuse would be five. It does it for me. We teach the computer to do the math problem for us. You can also set one to do it the other way, where if we know the hypotenuse and the leg, let's say the leg is three and the hypotenuse is five, it should figure out that the other leg is going to be four, and it does. And this is the app that you're going to create for this assignment, an app that does the Pythagorean theorem for you. To create this app, we're going to start at the website code.org. So go to code, C-O-D-E, dot org. And on the top, we're going to select projects, and the program we're going to use is called App Lab. And it might require that you sign in. No problem. You can just sign in with your Google account. And once you do that, you'll have a screen that looks like this. Over here on the left is what it, something is going to look like on the phone. Over here in the middle, these are options for commands, things that we're going to use to program the phone. And over here is the actual code we'll use for this particular project. Now, there are three stages to creating an app. One is the code, and they're written just above the phone, code, design, and data. We're not going to use the data, but the code, which is the computer program, and the design, which is probably the more fun part, what you want it to look like. Let's start with the design. So you're going to click on design. And what you can do here is make your app look any way you want. For example, we could change the background color to whatever flavor you'd like. And maybe you're looking to make it hot pink or something like that. You can click on that, and then that's the, uh, the color of the background. And you could upload a picture uh, for the background instead if you like. But the one thing that we're going to have to make sure we do is we're going to grab right here. These are the options in the middle. We're going to grab the one that says label. It says ABC. It's a label. It's typing. And you're going to put your name here. And so we know whose it is. And the way to do this, you can't modify it in this picture. you got to look over to the right side. It says the text. And whatever goes in that box, that's what shows up on the phone. So for me, I'm writing Boland's Pythagorean app. And that's, the, that's what will show up on the top of the phone. You have to include your name for this to count. And you can adjust it in uh, any number of ways, make it look the way you want, change the color of the writing or however you want to do this. Uh, but it's got to have your name. That's kind of the key. I'm going to keep my picture simple. Feel free to make yours as weird or odd as you like. So the first thing we're going to want to do to make this work is we're going to ask whoever's using this app what the legs are uh, for a right triangle and have the, the app figure out the hypotenuse. So we're going to start off with a prompt, which is the label again. We're going to grab a label, drag it over here, and you don't have to put it in the same spot as me. We're just going to make the same one that you saw at the beginning. Uh, it says text here. I'm going to change that to say, what's the length of the leg? So I'm just going to put leg there. And then it's a funny color. I'm going to make it black instead of this weird gray here. So we got leg. So it's a prompt telling the whoever's using it, I want you to put a, the measure of the leg in here. And then in the middle here, the other options, we have text input. And we need a place for the user to type in how big the leg is. And you can just grab that and drag it over. You can make uh, the place where they type their answer big or small or move it to wherever you think is not going to be useful. And then we're going to do the same thing because we need to know two legs. So we're going to repeat this process, put another spot for them to type in the measure of the other leg, and give a spot for the user to type their answer for this. And as you do this, you, can, you probably want to make some small adjustments so that things look nice and organized here. There we go. So, well, those boxes should be roughly the same size maybe. Maybe you don't care if they are. I, we, I, the grade is based only on how your app works, not how it looks. And then the next thing we're going to want is a place for the answer to appear. Someone's going to type in the measure of the two legs, 
and we need an answer to pair up. So we're going to grab a label for the hypotenuse. And again, I'm going to change the label to say that, the hypotenuse. And we're going to actually use two labels. One, the one that I just put in is just going to say hypotenuse. And then the other one, we need another label. And this one we're going to leave blank here for where the actual measure for the hypotenuse is going to be. And instead of actually, maybe not leaving it blank, I'm going to put uh, question marks or maybe some asterisks in that spot. And when, uh, when that's filled in, uh, we'll be able to see what the answer is going to be. And then finally, the last thing we're going to need is a button that tells that we press to say actually make this calculation. And so if you grab button and drag it over here, you can change the text to say anything you want, you know, like calculate or whatever else you might want the button to say. But what will happen is the user will type numbers in for the first leg and number for the second leg, press calculate, and then the length of the hypotenuse is going to show up down here. You may want to take a minute to rearrange it. You can change the size of the fonts if you feel like something's the writing is too small, the font size, and all the other customizing uh, options are over here on the right. Uh, change it so that you get it to the way you'd want it to look. Now, to actually do the code, first off, we're going to, in a minute, we're going to click on the t above the phone where it says code. But before we do that, we're going to want to know what all these different boxes are named when we write the code. We're going to have to say, go get the number in this box and the number in this box. If you hover over something, it tells you what the name is. If you hover, hover over where we wrote leg, it says label two and label three. The hypotenuse, in my case, is label four. You're going to need to know those names. The input boxes where people will type the numbers, I have input one and input two. This thing is you hover over your button, it might say button one or button two. And then, uh, so if, when you're looking for these names, that's how you figure out what they're called. You hover over them and the name will show up. Now what we're going to do is at the, above the phone, we're going to click on the code button. And we're going to, here's where we're going to have to teach the app how to do the math problem. Now, each programming language is a little bit different, and I'm not sure which one this is, uh, but they have this block text, which is supposed to make things easier. So you don't actually have to write in code, but you do have to kind of understand what the blocks are. And so these blocks here, uh, there's different sets of blocks, and these are things that you want the phone to do. Uh, there's other things we can do, like uh, the turtles for drawing, but we're just going to use this UI controls. It stands for user interface, things that the phone does with the person. And then the math uh, applications here. So these are the con these are the commands we're going to be using. We're going to start with the UI controls. So we're going to tell the the app what we want it to do. The first thing we want to the th main thing we want it to do is when we press the button, we want it to calculate something. So we're going to have to grab that first option under UI controls. It says on event. In this case, our event is the button gets clicked. So uh, here on event, and then the first blank here it says ID. You need to say the button. So in this case, for mine, it's my, the name of the button is button number one. You'll have to select the, whatever the name is of your button. Uh, it's probably button one unless you made extra buttons somewhere. If you don't remember the name, you can just hover over it and it'll tell you the name of the button. So it says, on event, button one is clicked. So in other words, when someone clicks the button, here's what I want the computer to do. And what we wanted to do is change the text where the hypotenuse is. So I put it as a bunch of little stars, asterisks. Uh, we want to change that. So we're going to go to set the text, which is about halfway down right over here. Set the text, and we're going to tell it what we want that text to change to. And we're going to say which box it is. In my case, it's label 5. So I'm going to change it from ID to label 5. and saying, this is what I want you to write in that text box. And instead of text here, we're going to have it write out a math problem for us. And that's where most of our work is going to be. See, the math problem we wanted to do is the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now, we have to write this the right way. We don't want C squared. We want C. So the last thing we always do in a Pythagorean theorem problem is take the square root. We want it to write whatever this turns into. So we can drop the other part. We want it to take two numbers. Square them, add them, and take the square root. Now we have to do this in computer language, which is going to look a little bit weird because we're not going to be able to type it like this. We're going to ask it to take the square root, it looks something like this, of, and we're going to say, go get A, which is going to be whatever they typed in for leg one, which is our input number one. So input number one, and we got to tell it to raise it to the second power, and this is all going to be inside a box. Where it says we're adding things, and the other thing we'll add is input number two to the second power. 
and it'll take the square root of that. Now, writing that using the code from uh, the phone language is going to be a little bit tricky. All right, so to do that, we've got on the event of the buttons clicked, we're going to change the text and label five. And instead of saying text, we're going to put our math problem here. To do that, we got to go to the under the toolbox here, select the math options. The first thing we're going to put in is square root, which is the last option on the bottom. We're going to drag that up into where it says text and drop the box in there. And now instead of saying text, it's going to take the square root of a number. Now, we want to take the square root of what we get when we add two numbers. So if you look at the top, the first option, the first operator here is an addition problem. We're going to drag that little block of blank plus blank and put it in side the square root. So it's going to take the square root of something plus something else. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do is put in the squares. Now, this works a little bit weird. The second option from the bottom says math.pow. That's a power for exponents here. We're going to use that button, and we're going to drag that up and put it in to the plus signs. And we're going to put it into both sides, so something being raised to a power will go on both sides. Now, if you don't understand what we just put here, it says we're taking the square root of some number to a power plus some other number to a power. So in other words, this is supposed to be the a squared plus b squared. Now, the numbers isn't actually a number. We want the, the app to use whatever number the user typed in there. So we're going to have to tell it to go get that number. To do that, you got to go back to the UI controls, the user interface controls. And literally, there's an option about halfway down that says get number. And we're going to put that in the first blank on, uh, after math.pow. And it says go get number. And we want to say go get the first leg. So if you hover over your first leg to find the name of it, for me, that's input one. So if you say go get the number in input one. We're going to go text input one. And then I want to say, what power am I going to use for that? I'm just going to type the number two. So take the math input one and square it. And then we're going to go get the, the number from math input two. So we're going to repeat this in the second box. Go get the number from, and we got to change its name, math input or text input two and square that. And so what we've typed here, and I know I can't have the whole thing up on the screen at once. We said, we're going to take the square root of what we get when we add math input 1 squared plus math in, or text input 2 squared. And if you want to check it, we can just hit the button down here that says run, and you'll get like what it's going to look like on your calcula calculator. And you can type in, let's do a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So you put in a 3 for one of the legs, put in a 4 for the other leg, and hit calculate. It says the hypotenuse is 5. We got this to work. Now the assignment for you to do this is to do this and... The other version of the app where we put in a leg in the hypotenuse and it figures out the other leg. Now, we already walked through every step you need to do this top part. At the bottom, you're basically going to do the same thing, except it's just going to be, instead of adding, squaring them, adding them and taking the square root, we square them, subtract them, and take the square root. Now, for that to work, you got to remember, if you have these backwards, you'll get an error. When you use this code.org app, the error says N-A-N-D or something like that, and that just means error. If that happens, it probably means because you put the leg squared minus the hypotenuse squared, and it should be the hypotenuse squared minus the leg. So you may have to change the order on those.